fucking ingenious. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Movie Madness. This week, we're going to start out by talking about the newest animated movie, Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph, uh, as you may know, is like the newest animated movie that came out. Pretty successful. Uh, I think it was n the number one movie a few weeks in a row. I don't know who it's by. I don't think it's a Pixar movie. Uh, I just wasn't paying that much attention to who made it. Sorry. But uh, I watched Wreck-It Ralph. I would say it was pretty good. It just wasn't what I was expecting it to be. Let me explain. So when the trailer came out and uh, apparently it was an animated movie all about video games, I was freaking like, yeah. I mean, because I'm not a gamer or nothing. I, I play games, but I don't classify myself as a gamer, but I like them and I'll watch a movie about them, especially when they seem to cover old school games like Pac-Man, Mortal Kombat, you know, Qbert, old school stuff that I know that I grew up on. So I was excited. I, I wanted to see it and I checked it out and uh, it is a good movie. Now the problem being with this movie is I know that there are exceptions now. There are girl gamers these days, but when I grew up, it was pretty much strictly a guy thing. It was a boys pastime. Boys played video games and then they show the preview which you know demonstrated all the, the old school characters and stuff that you know we grew up on. I kind of felt going into this it was going to be like a boys movie or a guys movie, you know, because it was about video games. Here's the whole problem, right? It starts out really good, starts out very promising, but about 20 minutes in, maybe 25 minutes into the movie, it just jumps into Candyland for some reason. And the whole rest of the movie takes place in Candyland. See, now this is where I feel like the problem comes into play. There was so much potential and so many video game references they could have made and all the stuff that all of us guys grew up on and understand. It got thrown out the window when they went to this very feminine, pretty, lots of pinks and purples and blue Candyland place. That threw me for a loop. It kind of threw my interest out a little bit. I will stick by saying it is a good movie though. Uh, little kids will like it of course. If you're an adult but you're into these animated movies you'll like it. It's a good movie. But if you're expecting it to be all about like kind of male-oriented video game stuff, it's not like that at all unfortunately. So it was a good movie and I would recommend it. Go ahead and give it a watch. You'll probably like it. So go ahead and check out Wreck-It Ralph. It's not bad. <laughs> Okay, next up, I watched uh, John Carter. I don't even know how to classify this movie. <laughs> I guess it's sci-fi? It's a sci-fi fantasy? Yeah, there we go, I did it. Sci-fi fantasy, John Carter. Yeah, I was really impressed. It was enjoyable and entertaining the whole way through. It was different and unique and, you know, it's not a remake. Somebody made something original. Wow, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for making something original. It was. Uh, and yeah, it was definitely a unique story. Well, maybe not a unique plot per se, but the characters are interesting. The worlds are interesting, the environment. Uh, I thought it was pretty good, actually, all around. The only improvement that I could think of that it really could have used was I would have liked it if it was maybe a bit more edgy. But it is a Disney movie, so that's understandable. They kept it, you know, family friendly. Otherwise, I really have nothing to complain about, about John Carter. I thought it was pretty interesting. It was definitely something uh, different and unique. So I would totally recommend John Carter. You should check it out. Give it a watch. And finally, I watched, uh, it's called, uh, I forgot. <laughs> no, it's called uh, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Uh, Steve Carell, Keira Knightley. End of the world movie. I really had no interest in seeing it. You know, I wasn't like, ooh, I gotta check that out. I, I just watched it for the hell of it. And uh, it started out really interesting. I liked the, the direction they were taking with how people would react uh, if they knew the end of the world was on its way. Um, it was very quirky and very interesting. Started out with a lot of potential. I liked the way that people know that they're gonna die in like two weeks, but they're kind of very nonchalant about it. I mean, they do things they wouldn't normally do because they know they're gonna die, but they still all have this kind of nonchalant, 
uh, way about them, and I find it, I, I found it really humorous actually, because it's not like a serious, serious, what would you do if it was the end of the world movie. Okay, and then here's the problem, the movie goes off the rails. Why? Because it turns out the bulk of the movie is just a sappy, generic love story, and it was like, ah, it sucked, I didn't like it. First of all, Steve Carell plays the same character that he's played in every movie he's ever been in. Now, don't get me wrong. He's a good guy. I like him. He's even got potential as an actor. But <laughs> he still doesn't seem to get out of his comfort zone. You know what I'd like to see is Steve Carell as a bad guy. I'd like to see him play a villain. Really get out of his comfort zone. But in this movie, he just plays the same guy he always has played. And then Kara Knightley is rather annoying in the movie. They do this stereotypical relationship between the two, you know. Oh, he's the uptight guy, and she's the free spirit, and aren't they an odd couple? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Seen it, done it a million times. Give me something new, please. I didn't like the relationship between them. Like, basically, after the first 20 minutes of the movie, it's just all downhill from there. I would not recommend Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. I thought it was the same old, lame, predictable, recycled, crap love story that we've all seen a million times before. And I would rather be hit by a comet than watch this movie again. Oh, oh my god, no! No, I don't want to die, virgin! Crap. Looks like I made it out of that one. I want to thank you guys for checking out my movie madness. It's always a pleasure. Click, <laughs> click over here if you want to see the last episode. And uh, go watch you some movies. And I'll see you next time. Peace!